So hello everyone, uh, my name is Wojtek F. Cisło, and uh, as, as said by, by, by Hans, I'm running and I'm uh, working in the Center of, of Excellence um, in Warsaw, in EMEA, and uh, uh, primarily our background is in fusion middleware technologies, but uh, we, uh, over the recent 10 years or 12 years now, we had a number of spatial and graph projects, and this is one of those which I'd like to present to you today. Uh, this is a demonstrator, and uh, well, maybe to, to explain this, and to, for, to, to give a little bit of an overview how it all started, because it was kind of funny story. So our colleagues from, from Australia, and actually a few other customers shortly after approached us, uh, I think 10, year, 10, 10, uh, 10 months ago, nine months ago, more or less like that. And they asked us if we could help them to draft an architecture for the social intelligence solution. What they meant by social intelligence was uh, they wanted to listen for the internet communication, public internet communication, social media, and try to, um, to, uh, to inspect the traffic in a way to predict uh, um, some potentially very dangerous events before they occur. So obviously it started like that, and it started with, uh, with, with several requirements that we got from them. Obviously this is not very popular types of solutions as you may uh, imagine, but um, Shortly after, we received a bunch of requirements from other customers, and uh, it all started to, f to f get some shape. And we very soon agreed that the, basically the purpose of this whole project, of this, of, of, of this demonstrator, at that point in time, now in a few weeks we are starting the pilot project, so the first phase of the fully blown project. So, so this is something more than this demonstrator. Uh, and, but we very shortly agreed that uh, we want to have a solution which is able to automatically for to some extent, semi-automatically, but um, f in a very, um, I would say, limited, supervised way, uh, monitor the internet traffic, social media, and get the extract the information, valuable information out of the f communication, internet communication, and uh, f help us protect uh, f um, f ourselves uh, f and uh, protect and act uh, f between the. Uh, between f f uh, properly to the people who are f um, violating or f um, acting against our national interests as such. So it all started like that, but very soon we found out that it's not going to be that easy. <laughs> uh, so such a, a, a tweet, uh, it's not going to happen in reality. So it all started to be really, really complex and, and, uh, and we found out that we need to really think a little bit better on the, on the solution and how uh, we want to, f to, f to inspect all the, as you can imagine, now we have dozens, if not hundreds, of social media networks. Now we have dozens, uh, hundreds, thousands probably of blogs which are posting different, potentially very dangerous uh, communication of, um, of, uh, which are used by terrorist organizations, which are used by different groups uh, to, f to act against our national interests. So uh, we, 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 we were a little bit overwhelmed by number of data and complexity of the project, but we decided, okay, so as we said, we. Uh, it all started with a tweet, but it's much more than that now. So uh, it all started with a tweet uh, as a uh, single event, as a piece of communication exchange over the internet. But uh, we very soon uh, found out that it's much more than that. So first of all, we need to understand the profile of the person who sent the tweet. So basically, who who sent the prof uh, who sent the message? Uh, what else that they said? And what's the pattern, for example, of their communication? So. Is there something specific? Is there something dangerous? Or this is something that may be a synony or maybe some sort of uh, early alert or from f a red flag before something else would happen. So this is something we, uh, w which, uh, which was core and in, in the core of, of, of the analysis. But we soon found out that obviously we need to put it in context. So we need to take the, f the, f the, f the, the messages as they arrive to the system uh, and try to extract as many entities by entities, I mean all the potentially very important data, which is hidden uh, very often inside the communication. <coughs> and here, probably many of you will immediately think about natural, process natural language processing uh, f um, f um, f uh, algorithms and, and, and maybe not algorithms, but modules to, to, to do an NLP stuff. So I will get back to this in a second, but that was very complex and, uh, and, and, uh, f um, and very important to us to get as many details from the messages, so like places like locations.
positions like coordinates, everything what uh, could be of use for, for us for the, uh, for the later stages of, of the analysis. And shortly after we found out that obviously dealing with this kind of information without um, showing and, 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 um, and illustrating the relationships between people, analyzing the relationships between people, won't give us that much. So, uh, for, so relationships uh, for, like the circle of the uh, for, of uh, or the near neighborhood of the of the particular potentially already identified as a dangerous person. It's it's very important uh, for who is influencing this person. Um, who is influenced by this person? What's what may be even more important? So basically, this, those kind of analyses we were f we were trying to um, f to put into the requirements, or at least we were trying to at that type of point in time foresee in the solution. Okay, so but now probably many of us will start to wonder why. But but I think you here, especially in Boston, uh, I took this for purpose. So you do have much more than f much more than probably this. Uh, for a single statement of and the, for the, this uh, this evidence uh, for, to to prove that it's important. So specifically for for the Boston Marathon, there was a report which was pub published, uh, I think, shortly after, which uh, which which clearly stated that there were opportunities. We were simply not prepared to for, to for, to use and to efficiently for share this information properly. For those who are wi for, from 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 Europe, from 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 EMEA, we just recently had. Well, not, not not extremely recently, but it was some time ago. But it's it's a relatively fresh story uh, that uh, one person f f recruited the others over the f over the social media channels because the recruiting activity is very popular there. So f obviously, someone will not um, f set up a very complex uh, terrorist attack using the public posts on on, on some blogs. But recruiting activities and other activities uh, f to organize people to to set up some 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 public uh, events, riots, or or f or f or potentially some 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 other stuff, dangerous stuff. Uh, this this is very frequent. So. This person posted, Tamur uh, posted some, 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 some messages. Then he, uh, he set up a bomb, killing uh, f people in Stockholm. Shortly after, at that point in time, we were not aware those, those two cases are related in any sort of way. This person, uh, if, um, if the other person, Arit, um, also fatally shot uh, f um, two US soldiers in Frankfurt. And as they found out later on, those two incidents were connected, very tightly connected. And again, we, we, we are questioning how many of those are there. We don't know, and so so that's 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 why we are doing this. Uh, but uh, saying about social media wouldn't be. Well, I think it would be oversimplification of of of, of the matter because. Um, Obviously, uh, f uh, f agencies, intelligence agencies, have their own resources. Uh, I can speak for some of the customers I work with uh, f uh, in the recent uh, several months, and they all uh, f um, want to use their own data sources and merge the data, merge the results with the f uh, with the results f uh, coming from the social intelligence systems like this one. So this is not only about uh, social media. This is not only about social networks. Uh, this is about using this knowledge, this information, uh, f and sharing the. The information f um, f f um, uh, across the agencies to make sure that everybody knows about the things they should know. Uh, but uh, very soon we found out, once we started uh, f uh, the, the design of the demonstrator, we found out that there are a few challenges we, 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 we need to face. So, scalability obviously was one of them. I will get back to this in a moment. Understanding, so how we can understand the, the, f the natural language, obviously, if uh, all those. Um, uh, all, all these different languages. Uh, f uh, very often, people are using different acronyms, different synonyms for 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 for, for, for calling different people, different organizations. So this this all started to be very 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 complex. But uh, I'll get back to this in a moment. Collaboration was another challenge. We wanted to make sure that agencies can collaborate, but uh, doing in in the way they they would like to collaborate. So not sharing all the information, but sharing only the relevant uh, for the others. And, and, and setting uh, the, the right rules and the privileges for, 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 for the agencies and procedures to, to share the, the information and knowledge between them. 
Security and application diversity, obviously, these are f the f very, very obvious um, f f challenges. Security, so how we can share this information, how we can secure, and for this database and, and all the uh, technology that Oracle provides gives us more than f enough uh, capabilities to protect the information in the right way. And application diversity, so again, those agencies had already some solutions, uh, some, some tools that we're using. So we